the January transfer window has arrived. And whilst we don't have a great deal amount of money, we do have a couple of positions where we could definitely use some improvements. So we will be on the lookout throughout this month. Of course, we're going to play through the entire thing. There's about six or seven Premier League games as well. Let's quickly review the fixtures that you've missed. So you've missed three games since the last episode. And guess how many wins we got? Three, which I think makes it to nine on the bounce. The first of which was a massive, massive win. A 3-1 home win against Tottenham Hotspur. Gordo put us in front 38 minutes in. Mika Marmol then got the second in the 85th. Jude Bellingham in the 91st. Phil Fodden got a consolation for them in the 93rd. We then went away from home against Bournemouth. And I did think this is where the win and run was going to end. But Pablo Martinez trio came on and scored in the 93rd minute to give us the win. And finally, was away from home against Watford, which we won 2 0. Kaichi Goto and Pablo Martinez trio getting the goals for us. And this sees the Premier League table looking like this. We sit in third position. We have 39 points after 19 games. If we do the exact same again for the next 19, we're going to get 78 points, which will be 14 points more than we got with Barnsley. Now, I'm not expecting that because that will be an absolutely massive overachievement on our behalf. But our squad is doing fantastically. We've got the January period to try and improve. And although we don't have a huge sum of money, we'll take a quick look here. We've got about £6 million and £100,000 in the wage budget, of course. We can swap that about in terms of the slider and stuff. But I think we can, I think we can really try and improve. We've, our board are being tight, basically. They've got a £27 million balance. We've been earning money every single month whilst we've been in the Premier League. And they've still saw it necessary to reduce our transfer revenue made available to us of 55%, which obviously isn't an ideal situation to be in. In terms of trying to request extra money, they're not having any of it. It's not even an option on our, on our part. So we're going to have to do the best we can with what we've got available. And if we need to make player sales, it's obviously only going to be squad players we can sell. Looking through the schedule, then there is six games all in total. One FA Cup game in there against Swansea, Barnsley, Manchester United, West Ham, Liverpool and Watford in the Premier League. Obviously, a huge amount of wins in the previous uh, 10 games or so. I'm not expecting that to continue forever. Maybe against Barnsley, but then Man United and Liverpool. I'm not expecting too many uh, points coming out of those games. But you never know, old oh, boys might surprise me a little bit. In terms of transfer activity then, we have made an approach for a few players. Now, these are likely to be players we will never manage. It's more to set up Birmingham for next season um, and whichever manager ends up taking them over. The first of which is Felix Paslak. He might end up joining the club. Um, obviously, we've approached to sign. If Borussia Dortmund want one and a half million to make that transfer now, I, I would probably bite the hand off and bring him in. I think he would provide some great competition to Keith Lonsdale as our right back. And as you can see, looking at the attributes, he's probably a little bit better. Um, overall, he's definitely a more attacking option than Keith Lonsdale is. So he would give us that variety. Maybe in games where we are desperate for a goal, bringing on uh, Felix Paslak and sacrificing Lonsdale might be the way to go. But yeah, whether or not this signing comes in whilst we are managing or at the end of the season, um, I, I think it's a good signing for Birmingham. And same can be said for Ludovic Rice. We'll not be signing this guy as he is currently on loan at Nice and won't be able to join the club until the end of the season. But I think he's someone who's probably better than James Garner, who's currently occupying our deep lying playmaker role. And uh, he will provide, at the very least, good competition for next season uh, when Birmingham are without us. And finally, another player who we won't be able to uh, join us in the January transfer window as he is on loan at Hoffenheim is a wonder kid from Lazio. He's a six months away from the end of his deal. It's stupid not to go in for him. So I've went in for him and hopefully Birmingham can get him. But as we mentioned in the last episode, left back and centre back was our main areas of concern. And if you to narrow it down even more, obviously because of our limited funds, centre back is where I'm going to be spending the majority of our money. In terms of player sales then, Anaki Pena has came to me and said he wants to leave the club. We've uh, actually recalled Kifton Bell from his uh, loan spell. I think he was in the US, so it's ended. We'll try to move him on. We'll try to move in Naki Penner on. Obviously, that would mean we have to then sign a backup goalkeeper, which is fine by me. We might even be able to sign someone better than Harvard Hettel for cheap. Maybe not. But yeah, none of our major players uh, attracted interest right now, so I wouldn't imagine um, too many big sales happening uh, from our first eleven. But you never know. 
Football Manager is a funny beast and might end up happening. So I will continue on to the Burn Burnsley game. If there's any transfer business or news to bring you, you will say that. Otherwise, I'll just be showing you the results. So we've offered a few of our squad players out to try and free up the wages that they are occupying. Jeremy Bella has been approached by Cruz Azul, Tigres and Leon. Uh, Callum Robinson's got a few offers in of 700k or so. I will try and negotiate some of these clubs up if they're not all non-negotiable, which I imagine they will be. Uh, otherwise, whoever's offering the lowest amount, Les Swansea there, not asking for any of his wages to be paid. Um, Nottingham Forest, Derby County aren't either, so we will accept that offer. We will reject all the other offers as they are asking us to play, uh, to pay some of his wages for the remainder of his contract. So, we might have just found our centre-back, Jose Martinez from Barcelona B. Now, I know we uh, go for a lot of Barcelona B players, but he's become available um, he's very similar to Mika Marmol in that he's comfortable at both left-back and centre-back, but he would be a centre-back for us. And what a centre-back he could potentially be for around £6 million. If we just compare him to Harley Dean, who's currently our starting centre-back, uh, whilst Mika Marmol's out on that left-hand side, I mean, look, he is a better player in pretty much every single aspect. Three and a half star current, uh, currently rated by me scouts. I think it's an old scout report, so I'm not going to rely on that too much but he looks absolutely fantastic and if we can bring him in oh, it'd be an absolute superb sign and i hope he wants to join contract successfully negotiated we'll see if anybody else comes in for him so i've just played barnsley in today's first game our former club of course i managed to win 2-0 pablo martinez trio and keiichi goto with the goals that takes it to 10 in a row first deal has been agreed then felix paslak will join the club at the end of the season, we will review that over the course of January to see if Borussia Dortmund will accept a low fee to be able to bring him in now, which will be great. Um, he would improve the quality of our squad if we are able to do that. Let's see how much they want now. They want 1.6 million. Let's give it a week and see if that goes down. But there's the main signing of the January transfer window for now. Jose Martinez, centre-back from Barcelona Bay, comes to join us. We're only playing £2.4 million right now as the rest is staggered in instalments, which is grand by us because that gives us a little bit more flexibility to be able to make moves during this January transfer period. But as you can see, three and a half star, he comes in as probably one of our best centre-backs. Not as good as Andre. Uh, what's his name? It's not Andre. <laughs> Andrin Mader, obviously, but he will be a very, very capable partner for him. We'll put him on the right training um, to get used to his new position and new role. But um, happy to get him into the club. I think he massively improves our first 11. And you know what? For £1.6 million, pounds, I'm going to bring in Felix Paslak now. Get him into the squad as early as possible. He might end up being our first choice uh, right back. He's currently rated at 2.5 star with 3.5 star current. But um, I don't really agree with that. As we've seen, Keith Lonsdale is rated as a 3 star. And he's at least on par with Keith. So he comes into the squad alongside our other new signing and they should be available for today's game against Swansea. So this is what happens when you fully rotate. You draw 1-1 away from home against Swansea City in the FA Cup. That's unfortunate. Uh-huh. Zlatan Zajevic out for 78 months from that game. Uh, let's see what the damage was to Ferran Torres. Three to five weeks. Nice. So Ludovic Rice has agreed to join Birmingham at the end of the season. I think it's a smart move. Um, for the future of Birmingham City obviously it won't improve our squad whatsoever and we will never manage Ludovic with Birmingham but he is joining at the end of the season and I'm happy to get that deal over the line. First slightly major exit Callum Robinson leaving for £700,000 we're getting rid of his £24,000 per week wages which is absolutely fantastic by me. It's <laughs> he's actually in the middle of the pack in terms of earners. Uh, we have quite a few players now on 30k plus but uh, freeing them wages up does leave us a little bit more room to manoeuvre in terms of looking to bring in a left-back. Now, with Zlatan Zahevich's eight-month injury, a left-back has become a bit of a priority for us now. Unfortunately, we don't have a great deal of money after signing the centre-back. £2.2 .2 million pounds with £70-odd thousand pounds in the, uh, in the, available in the wages. But I do have an idea. Jesus Vazquez. He is available for loan. Unfortunately for us... Inter Milan and Roma have both went in for the loan. So I am also going to go in for the loan. And I'm going to give him a star player proposed playing time. We will see if that is able to convince him to join Birmingham City over the two Italian giants. But if we were to be able to bring him in, we'll take a look at his uh, attributes once again and compare them to Mika Marmol, who has found himself playing at left back quite a bit this season. 
Um, as you can see, it's just far better attacking wise. Physically, speed, visions, pretty much the same. Attacking and technical is far better. He is a bit weaker defensively, which will cause us some problems going further forward. But I think similar to the likes of Felix Passlack, it gives us that extra option to be able to bring on a more attacking player. And he, he would probably come in as first choice if he does decide to join the club. And I am very surprised at this one. Alberto Salenza has decided to sign for Birmingham. There was a lot of clubs. Well, it's, he's, he's obviously rejected them all now. But there was a lot of clubs who went in for him in terms of his end of contract. But that is a huge signing for Birmingham. Hopefully they put him on the loan list so I can sign him in the championship next season. We are really starting to show that we are a force to be reckoned with in the Premier League this season. 2-0 at home against Manchester United. It was Mark, Marcus Rashford was playing. He couldn't get his hat-trick this time, could you, mate? Pablo Martinez, Trio and Jude Bellingham with the goals then. And we were third going into this game. They were sixth. That's a massive result. That was our 11th win in a row in the Premier League. 11 wins. <sighs> so with the signing of Felix Passlack, that does leave us free to sell our backup right-back, John Espinosa. And we have had a £6.25 million bid from two sides. And I'm hoping he will join at least one of them. <laughs> Another player wanting to leave the club was Philippe Sandler, which we can now make use of as we have signed Jose Martinez as a centre-back. 9.25 million has been accepted from Konyasapo. Hopefully he will join them. Um, uh, hopefully they'll offer him enough wages. He's, on, he's already on 27.5k per week. So that might be a deal that ends up falling through due to his personal demands. Yes, he's decided, he's decided, he's decided to join us. Jesus Vasquez comes in on loan for the rest of the season. And that might be our transfer business done and dusted already. But never say never. We're about to get some uh, money in for the couple of players who've just mentioned there. Philippe Sander and the like. Uh, John Espinosa will get some decent money for us. So we might end up having around, maybe around £7 million or so on top of what we've already got. So £9 million, I, I, could, I could use that. We'll, we'll wait and see if I can find anything. And actually, with the signing of Jesus Vazquez, Ryan Burke now finds himself out of favour. He's worth £1.1 million. We might as well see what we can get for him. Um, see if any clubs are interested in signing him. So we've just played Swansea in the FA Cup third round replay and we played a pretty much a full strength side this time and won 3-0. Thomas Nielsen, Pablo Martinez Trio and Andrea Anderson with the goals. And it comes to an end. Our 11 win winning streak has been ended by top of the table Liverpool. Mohamed Salah getting the only goal of the game but even more worrying is Kaichi Goto got injured seven minutes in. We're going to have to continue on and see how long he's out for. Moment of truth, he is out for three to four weeks. It's not great. Not with Ferran Torres out as well. Hopefully he returns quickly and then we can play either Thomas Nielsen or Alexander Diaz uh, up top in the next game. But not ideal. Kaichi Goto has been our talisman, our main man. He's got 18 goals and 22 Premier League games. He's improving. Oh, such a shame. There's our first major sale in terms of funds coming in at the club. John Espinosa leaves to join the club. Uh, who's he joining? Liga de Quito for £6.25 million. Let's see what our transfer budget is looking like after that sale. Actually, we'll check after this. Philippe Sandler has agreed to join the Turkish club Konya Spor for uh, £9.25 million. Now, come on, football manager, let me see. So we have £9 million to play with and £100,000 in the budget. Champion. <laughs> I've convinced me board to try and sign this keeper for us, Jakub Kisoglu. He looks like an absolute world beater and he's 20 years old. He's got an £18.5 million minimum fee release clause, which obviously we've only got uh, £10 million. So I tried to unsettle him a little bit. It's not really happening. So I've spoken to the board. They were reluctant at first, but now they are going in for him. We could have ourselves an absolute worldy of a keeper. Ah, that Liverpool defeat has definitely knocked us off our stride. We went away from home against West Ham and got a 2-2 draw. Archie Brown put them in from 28 minutes in. Jose Martinez and Alexander Diaz put us 2-1 up just before half-time, but they equalised shortly after that. Another injury, though. Andrin Mierda, our main centre-back, picked up a knock in today's game. Let's go find out the damage. Oh, he's out for three to four weeks. Two of our key players now missing. It's going to be a tough last few games for us in this episode. Oh, the club have made an offer. It's been accepted and they've agreed. I would really rather have done the contract offer myself, but unfortunately, um, they have done it for me. Hopefully, he will accept a 32k per week. I would love to bring him in. 
he has signed Jakub Kasoglu. He has joined the club. He's going to come in as our first choice keeper. I am absolutely delighted that the board have pulled through on this one. Obviously, that means we have nothing left. <laughs> Zero transfer budget. Not a lot in the wages. So that is probably the end of our January transfer business. But what a signing. What a huge signing. Oh, another defeat. This time it's in the FA Cup fourth round. So at least it's not in the league. But uh, Gonzalo Ramos, our former man. Jaden Sancho and Kevin De Bruyne getting goals for Manchester City. We were 1-0 down until the 80th minute when James Garner got sent off. And that resulted in the further two goals. We are really, really struggling in terms of our first team players. As James Garner out probably for another couple of games or so. Ah, get lost. The transfer window is beginning to wrap up. Ryan Burke is leaving the club and joining QPR for £300,000. Now, bearing in mind his contract was running out. Um, he's not a particularly great left back, so he's left. Looks like Jeremy Bella has finally decided to leave the club. He's going to join Preston. He's rejected numerous offers from other clubs. So we're finally getting him off the wage bill. We've got one final game though against Watford at home in the Premier League. And then that will end today's episode. Whew, we've got the full time. We managed to beat Watford 2-1. Mika Marmol and Mauricio Chan with the goal. Seiko Sidibe had made it interesting though. Scoring in the 60th minute. And Watford were basically on no shots until that point. And they really did come back into the game for the final half an hour. We've picked ourselves up another injury. Pablo Martinez trio was starting left winger. He's now injured. We'll have to wait and see what the length of his injury is. And despite having a really, really successful January transfer window, I'm afraid the injuries have really knocked us three to four weeks. Another four-week injury. Really, really disappointing. Um, so just to review our January transfer business then, because nothing else will be happening. There's only an hour left in the window. We have really, really improved our defence, basically. Jakob Kasoglu, a goalkeeper. Absolutely huge improvement over Harvard. Hetel with room to grow. Jesus Vasquez comes in as our starting left back. Again, better than Mika Marmol, who we were playing there over the course of the season. Felix Pasla comes in, replaces John Espinosa in the squad as our backup right back. £1.6 million is a fantastic deal. And he's on pretty low wages as well. Uh, Jose Martinez coming in as our first choice centre back. He's £6 million was an absolute bargain for this boy. And with room to grow, he's going to be magnificent for the club going forward and of course that includes some sales um who else who actually left i can't even remember jeremy bella ryan burke uh philippe sandler john espinosa being the main ones bringing in some fees we've now spent 80 million pound for the season and brought in 37 and a half million pounds fantastic stuff we've really improved our squad we just need them goddamn injuries to go away for our main players the likes of trio Meda, and keichi goto are all really really important to how we play uh, particularly Goto, really. We need his goals back. And we need Alexander Diaz being back as our backup left winger so we can actually have some semblance in the squad. But that brings today's episode under wraps. We are still sitting in third position. F six points clear from Chelsea in fifth. is not a bad position to be 24 games into the season. Um, <clears throat> looking towards the back end of the season then, we do have some crucial games in there. The likes of Arsenal, Chelsea. They'll all be absolutely huge games. Man City will probably get stuffed. They've stuffed us twice already this season. But um, next episode, then I don't know when we'll come back. It depends on how the games go. If we're starting to win every game, um, we'll have to play as someone who is really, really relevant in our Champions League qualification push, which we are now, we now find ourselves in. It's absolutely huge. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.